What's up, gang? It's your boy Tone Slok. I got another story time for y'all today. But before we get into story time, I need y'all to do two things for me. I need y'all to follow the socials that's in the description. I need y'all to sub to the channel if you ain't already sub. But today's story time is gonna be about the time I was involved in a raid. And I say involved it because it's not like I was getting raided. I just happened to be there at the time the raid was going on, you know. But if y'all ain't already got no doink, man, I got a little baby joint. Finna flame it up. But uh, I'm gonna tell y'all when the story the 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 story? The story started, like well when it happened basically. It was like 2013. Uh, something like that. Somewhere around there, I knew it was the summer, like, uh, before I was going to be a freshman. And I was with my homie, Artavius. It was me, my brother, my homie Artavius, his little brother, Mason. Free Art, free Tay, man. If y'all know, y'all know. But, uh, we at they crib, and me and my brother we used to go to Tay and Mason crib all the time. Like, that was our second crib. We used to go to the air weekend, air summer, we basically stayed at they crib back then. We was locked in for real. Because, like, y'all locked in with me. If y'all set up to the channel, we was locked in like that. But, um, yeah, we was just kicking at they crib. And one day, we was just, I just remember listening to Famous Dex. Like, this is back when Famous Dex was yeah. popping. Like, this was on his upcoming for real, before he signed Rich the Kid, whatever, whatever. But, um, we we kicking it. We listen to Famous Dex. Yeah. We was blowing. Uh, they big brother had this, his, one of his, like, his girl, she had, like, a plug or whatever, and she used to have the Zans. And y'all know what the Zans is, y'all, y'all know what the Zans is, whatever, whatever. Zanny. But, yeah, one day, I guess, or well, that day, I guess, um, he gave, like, a little, the piece, like, you know how you break the Zans off, he gave a piece to Mason. And Mason took one, and I guess he took it just, like, a regular pill, or I, let, I don't know if he let it sit on his tongue or he took like a regular pill, but he tasted it. And if you know how it tastes and you know it's nasty, so I guess he threw up. And we all looking at him like, no, nah, we ain't taking, we ain't doing that. But I guess we put it in like a juice or like whatever he had. We had some Kool Aid or something, I don't even remember. It was some juice. And we had drunk it, and we ain't really tasted like that. But we was just chilling after that. We didn't really think nothing of it. I don't even know, but I think we was playing a game or something. We ended up falling asleep. Uh, the last thing I really remember listening to was like Famous Dex or uh Yeah, it was Famous Dex. We go to sleep, wake up, it's a movie on. Well, we wake up and it's like a movie on, but it's like 4, 4.30 or something like that. But we get woken up by like beating on the door. Like somebody beating on the door and it's like aggressive. Like, man, you could tell it's the police, basically. And... We all like wake up to it, but like at the same time, we w we can hear it, but it's like we wasn't woke. But at the same time, Mason up and he like waking everybody up. He's shaking everybody. Like, wait, he whispering, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. And we finna, um, I guess, I think Tay, he was like, run to go to the back door. So they hear us though, cause we, I hear them hear us. And I'm like second from like the walkway to like go towards the back door, basically. And all of a sudden, I, I feel like I'm in last place, cause I get the, I don't even know, I was just in last place. So that we running towards the back door. And I, I just feel like it was yesterday. Like honestly looking back at it as I'm telling the story, I feel like it was yesterday. But we running towards the back door. Everybody go out the back door. It's Mason, Tay, and then my brother Ant. They go out the back door. And I I'm run I'm like behind them though, but some told me like not to go out. Or like I just felt like, like the door I think the door is shut. They shut the door behind them or something like that. Or I think I shut the door. I don't even know. I just felt like something was off. The door was shut. And I'm watching them. I'm looking through the little blinds on the door because it was a glass door. Like a glass, you know, you can look through it through the blinds. And I'm watching them, like, make it halfway through the field. Like, they got they got a backyard. I'm, I am watched them. It's a backyard and it's a fence. And it's like the alley on the other side of the fence. And I'm watching them go through the fence, try, almost make it to the back, um, to the fence. I mean, to the, uh, yeah, to the fence. Out of nowhere, like, the U.S. Marshals or something, like, it wasn't the regular police, obviously. Like, the U.S. Marshals, like, come around with handguns, ARs, anything you can think of. I feel like they was cut around the alley with a point of, get on the ground, get on the ground. Like, they got on, they jumped, they dove on the ground so fast, gang. I ain't even know what to do. I'm froze at that point. I'm looking out the window. I'm like, damn, once I seen that, I go, I turn around. I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't know what to do. So I go upstairs to the Tay room. I go upstairs in this room. 
I lay down in the bed. I'm like, I'm gonna play sleep. They ain't gonna catch me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play sleep. I lay there for like a good minute until like I hit them, break down the front door, boom. And uh, they get to screaming like, they come out, come out, everybody come out basically. And then they come like towards the, the back door and like the, the stairs was right there, whatever. They like, everybody upstairs, come downstairs, come down, whatever, whatever. And I don't even know what to do. I'm like, I'm gonna play sleep. They finna have to come up here and get me. They finna have to come get me. Like, I ain't, I don't know. But some told me to go downstairs. So I go up, go, I go downstairs. But as I'm going downstairs, I, at the time I had a Galaxy S2. And I'm like, I don't want to put it in my pocket. They gonna think that's a gun or something. <laughs> so I have the, I got the, I got the phone in my hand like this. I'm going up the stairs. I mean, I'm going downstairs. As I go downstairs and turn like the little corner, I just, I just remember a green beam just going right on me. And that's all I remember, the green beam. And then somebody grabbed my arm, throw me on the ground. And my phone just fall like, right by my face. That's like It's literally like it was yesterday. I can just picture it in my head. I fall on the ground, the phone fall, like, boom, boom. And they they zip tie my hands. And then I go in the living room. They got everybody in the living room. When I'm walking in the living room, I see everybody. It's Tay, Mason, my brother. They brother. Uh... They pops, they OG, all that. And they, and I just see the police, like I see the police just rummaging through everything, just throwing everything everywhere, searching, like just searching. And I feel like we was in there for like five hours. And I guess they started talking to us after then, like five hours later. And they knew that me and my brother, like that, that wasn't our crib or whatever. They call our OG, our OG come get us, like around like. One o'clock, and mind you, this happened at like five o'clock, probably like four thirty, like five something around that time. And we just we my OG come grab us. We I think we what we do I think we like went to go grab some food or something. She dropped us off. We get in the shower, and then um, next thing I know, Tay pulling up and Tay pulling up with his grandpa and the grandpa like. And they come grab us in the van, or whatever. We go back to their crib, and then we just help them put up like this little shit in their room and stuff like that. Like, damn, that shit was crazy. Then the whole night we kicking it again, but we talking about like, damn, everything happened. And I think they big brother ended up getting locked up that day. It was just a lo whole bunch of crazy stuff, man. I ain't gonna lie, like yeah, we just get to talk about it. You know how y'all talk about, like you and your homies be talking about stuff that happened that day. Like y'all got into a fight, like oh yeah, I hit it for hard or something, whatever, whatever. We just chopping it up like that, but we just kicking it the rest of the day. You know, went on too too much of it. Ooh, Tom, you recorded this.